Our reminder tells you, look to his right, he looked to his left, he was completely alone. And then he calls out, where are my valiant warriors? Where is Habib in the Where is Muslim in Osija? Where is my Qasim? Where are my own Muhammad? Where is my Abbas? Your Mullah is calling you and you're lying there asleep on the plains of Karbala. There's never been a moment where I don't call you and you don't say Labbaik. The books tell us that from the banks of Farat, the body of Abu Fazl begins to shake almost as if to say, Mola, I would love to give you an answer, but I am Majboor. <laughs> Rise up from your sleep, my warriors. These are the Nisa of Rasulullah. Someone needs to defend them. After that, the crying can be heard from the Khaimah. Imam Hussain begins to begin his Ruksat, the first al wila that he has. He enters the Khaimah Gah. There are women everywhere. He says, be patient. Continue my journey. I must go and sacrifice my life. Don't worry what happens to you. Allah will avenge that, inshallah. As I begin to leave the Khaimah, a voice comes from behind him. Mahala, Mahala, Yabna Zahra. Go slowly, O son of Fatima. He then turns around. He sees in front of him is his sister Zainab. These two have a conversation. I don't know what could possibly be have said between these two. These were a brother and a sister that watched Rasulullah pass away. These were two that grieved together the shahadat of their father. These were two that grieved together the shahadat of their brother. These were two that when Bibi Zainab went to ask Abdullah for permission to accompany Hussein to Karbala, she said one sentence, Abdullah, don't be that individual that separates me from my Hussein. Imam Hussain says, Abhan Zainab, it's time for me to go. I must go. This is now my time. It's my mission. She doesn't say a word. She says, Bahia, our mother told me that when my Hussain is about to go towards the Maidan of Karbala to give him my amanat. Imam Hussain says, what is that Imamat? And our books tell us that she faces Medina a little bit just to say, Allah, I want you to bear witness that I am giving your Hussain your Amanat. She leans forward. She opens the buttons of Imam Hussain. She kisses his chest. She kisses his neck. She kisses his forehead. She says, Allah told me that when my Hussain went towards the Maidan of Karbala, let him know that that chest that will be trampled by ten horses, I want you to kiss that neck that the hundred of Shimmer will separate from his body. I want you to kiss that forehead that will be hit with rocks and spears and arrows. I want you to, ch I want you to kiss. Don't think for a moment, Hussein, that Shahzadi is not there with you. Your mother is right there beside you on the day of Ashura. Imam Hussein mounts the horse and makes his way towards the Maidan of Karbala. The enemy meets him. How tired must our Mullah be? 
from morning until now, body after body, lash after lash, in the desert heat, not a drop of water, dripping in sweat and blood and tears. My Mullah grabs his Zulfiqar, begins to fight, and every time he strikes an enemy, he says, Qasim, look at your Mullah's battle, Ali Akbar, look at your Baba's Jihad, Abbas, bear witness, your Mullah is fighting his Jihad, are you watching this? And one by one he strikes them. But then a voice comes from the enemies that attack the khayma of the women. Imam Hussein turns his zuljina around, goes towards the khayma, makes sure everything is secure. And now comes the second alvida. He once again mounts the horse, tries to go back towards the khayma. But his horse would not move. His zuljina would not go anywhere. He says, zuljina. I know that you're as tired as I am. You have been with me since Medina. There's one last Akhri Zahmat. Just drop me in the Maidan of Karbala. Let me come out my hujjat and just leave me alone. And the Zuljana with one tear going down its face looks down as if to say, Mola, I would love to move, but your four-year-old Sakina is holding on to my leg asking me, where are you taking my Baba? Imam Hussein gets off the khayma, gets off the horse, grabs Sakina, hugs her, and kisses her. My father's in the audience. Those of you who have young children, how difficult must this be? Imam Hussein kisses Sakina. Imam Hussein hugs Sakina. Imam Hussein explains to Sakina. But Sakina doesn't say a word to Baba. She says to Jana, if you can, take my Baba to Farah. He just needs a drop of water. I say, Sakina, get as much as you can from your Baba now. The next time you see him, you'll be clutching his head in the Zindan of Sham. Imam Hussein mounts the horse, goes back towards the Maidan of Karbala. The enemy surrounds him. Arrows come flying towards Imam Hussein. Omar ibn Saad, when he reaches Kufa and Sham, he says to Yazid, that Yazid, you promised me that whoever sent the most pain to Abba Abdullah, you give him the highest reward. Believe me, because of me, not one inch of Hussein's body was left without a zakhmi, without an arrow, without a spear, without a rock. Whenever, wherever I could, I made sure that there was pain brought to Imam Hussein. Imam Hussein fought. Imam Hussein fought. Imam Hussein fought. There came a moment where he found some shade. And Imam Hussein came off the Zuljana. And for a moment he rested. He caught his breath. But that's when these Malahons surrounded Imam Hussein. They began to kick him. They began to attack him. They began to throw stones at him. Somebody threw a spear at him. Somebody shot a hair at him. This was the son of Fatima. He kept saying, Do you not know who I am? Do you not know who I am? I'm Hussein ibn Ali. They said, No, it doesn't matter. They shot everything at him. Then there came a time where Bibi Zainab says, I ran and Shimma ran. I ran to kill Zainabia. Shimma ran to Abba Abdullah. Jalusu, Allah Sabr al Hussein. He begins to kick my mullah. He begins to stab my mullah. And then Shimmer, Lanatullah Ali, grabs the beard of Abba Abdullah, takes a dull knife 13 times. Thirteen times he begins, uh, the ground begins to shake, the princess sky becomes black, and from the crowd, from the chaos, a voice could be heard. But Qutila Hussain, Bekar Bala, Bekul Jalal, 